Welcome back to Walnut Springs. I wanted to show you all how to adjust your linear pull or V-brakes as they're more commonly known if one side is touching the rim and the other one isn't. Let's go ahead and let's get into it. Okay, now that we're looking at it at this angle, you guys can kind of see this problem that I'm having with this bike and what you guys may be experiencing on your V-brake bike. And that is this pad is much closer to the rim than this pad which in some instances, if the wheel isn't perfectly true, may cause some rubbing on one side versus the other, slowing you down and also wearing out your brake pads. So how we wanna fix this is not adjusting this cable, but adjusting this tension screw. The side that has the furthest gap from the rim is going to have the most tension. And so you're gonna to wanna to loosen the tension on this side. What I like to do before I start this is I like to give my brakes kind of a nice little squeeze kind of to possibly correct any cable issues that there might be, kind of recentering them almost just to make sure. But then once you've got that done, you can go ahead and take a Phillips head screwdriver and just push this in here. And depending on this screw, how new it is, you may wanna make sure you push pretty hard because these may be seized up. And if they are, you can strip them out pretty easily. But we're just gonna start loosening the tension from this side just a little bit, and then we'll squeeze our lever again and see if that's getting any better. I'm just gonna go ahead and release some more tension. Here we go, we've got just a little bit of the screw left in there. And it is getting closer and the other side is getting a little bit further away. Let's go ahead and let's adjust the other side. So this side we wanna add tension to, so we're going to go the opposite direction. We're gonna screw the screw in. And hopefully, by doing that just a little and then squeezing our brakes to see if it changes positions. It's starting to look significantly better. Let's give this just a little bit more tension. Okay, now that is a lot better. Let's go over to the other side and adjust it by pulling the screw out just a little bit more. We don't have much more room, so just about a half turn. It's gonna be really hard to get them perfect, especially if your wheel isn't 100% true, but this is actually looking pretty good compared to what it was. So I think we are in a good spot. Our brake pads are pretty even along the rim here. They're both equally distanced, properly towed in and out. And I think we're ready to put the tire back on and take this for a ride. And there you go, that's how you adjust your linear pull brakes or your V-brakes as they're more commonly known. That's a really quick and easy fix for if your brake pads are rubbing on one side and not the other. If you guys like this video and you found it helpful, click the like button and uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know if this video solved this problem for you. And if you could go ahead and subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. But as always, get out there, run, bike, build, and just have fun. We'll see you in the next one.